Today we are going to repair this starter motor from a 3306 engine by replacing the following parts. The brush holder, the brushes, the armature, and the pinion drive. Lay out your used starter motor on a workbench along with all of the components of your starter rebuild kit. Start by removing the solenoid from the starter motor housing. We disconnect the power wire strap assembly and remove bolts that hold down the solenoid. Remove the solenoid. If equipped, remove the side covers to expose the bolts that hold the brush assembly to the body. Undo the bolts securing the rear housing and carefully slide out the housing. The rear housing contains the brush holder and brush assembly. At this point, we can slide out the armature assembly. Before removing the front cover, make a mark on both the front cover and the starter body to locate the correct clock position of the front cover to the body of the starter for later assembly. Remove the bolts securing the front housing, then remove the housing. Remove the pinion drive. If there is any wear or damage to the teeth, replace the pinion drive. If needed, clean the starter body with compressed air. We will now reassemble the starter in reverse order. Reinstall the new pinion drive into the front housing. Making sure it is installed with the correct alignment. Once the pinion drive is installed, attach the front housing to the starter body. Remember to line up the clocking marks we made earlier. We proceed with the inspection and installation of the armature. We first check the commutator. Check for corrosion, broken or damaged segments, and excessive wear. Next, we will check the winding coil for any missing, damaged, or broken wires. And finally, we inspect the armature stack. Check for damage, wear, and excessive rust. If any of these conditions are present, the armature needs replacement. Insert the new armature into the starter body, making sure it turns freely. We will now assemble the new CTP brush holder with the new brushes. Install each of the new brushes onto the brush holder until the holder is completely assembled. Attach the brush holder on the rear housing cover. We must now push each brush past the spring and clip the spring onto the side of the brush. This holds the brushes retracted so the brush assembly can easily slid over the commutator. We now install the rear housing cover on the starter body, install the bolts, and tighten. Install the solenoid unit and connect the strap wire assembly. Our starter motor is now completely repaired. Remember that upon inspection, if most of the internal parts have considerable damage, it is sometimes more cost-effective to purchase a new CTP starter.